Howdy y'all, this is Scott Grove here with the Echo Max E1 battery powered amp. You can do the whole battery thing which is rechargeable that's in here or use the um, power cable that's included with this big transformer on that puppy. Uh, the cool thing about this amp other than the sound is uh, the battery lasts 10 hours. Okay, then just recharge it. You don't have to replace batteries. Um, they told me go ahead and uh, stick this puppy right next to any other amp I care to, um, which I will not do because I don't um, feel great about putting other brands up against other brands, against other brands and so forth. So I will say that I do have uh, another like five battery powered amps which do uh, suck. <laughs> um, and I have used this for a whole month now before I gave my review on it and it's awesome I use it all the time almost every single day and zero problems um, no quabbles at all about this one again it's from Echo Max all one word two X's at the end you can check them out at Echo Max Dot com again this is the uh, e1 model so this is for electric guitar they have a 40 watt uh, dual coaxial speaker um, acoustic amp as well that's the e2 and then they got the e7 a big 150 watt puppy um, so go on the site and check out their stuff anyway I'm going to run through all the different things this thing does and do a little playing sample. Um, I do everything through the uh, handy cam here so that there's no uh, post production of any kind so you know what to expect via the camera mic. Okay, so you know I'm not messing with anything. So I'll get up close, show you all the stuff, tell you all about it, and uh, see what you guys think. Okay, you know I don't mix words so um, I just tell it like it is. So. Let's take a peek at this puppy and listen. Okay, so here's the front of the amp, which weighs 11.2 uh, pounds. Yes, a little heavier than some Les Pauls. Why, I'll tell you in a minute. Um, it's got a 5-inch speaker in it, which actually sounds bigger than it is. The uh, port in the cabinet. And here's why it um, weighs so much. Uh, sure, the battery. Um, I'm sure it's a hefty puppy, but the finish and the whatever this is actually made out of I'm, It feels like it's made out of wood instead of junk like all my other battery powered amps um, You're not going to rip this off like Tolex on Great name brand amplifiers. No, it's not going to happen So it feels like a really hefty 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 product and it is <laughs> um it does have a handle here on the side. It has doo -doo -doo -doo, these little guys here on both sides of the uh, knobs. So if you were to drop the amp, um, these actually sit like this, and they're higher up than the knobs are. So it would protect uh, the knobs from getting broken off and so forth. Okay, which is a beautiful thing. On the back, we have uh, your model number. We have where your charger plugs in. The line out. You go direct into a board or whatever you want. Headphones, which I use late at night. And your power. Okay. Um, up here, I'm going to show you all this, and then I'm not going to show it to you while I'm playing and changing. I'll tell you what I'm doing. Um, because I'm the camera operator and I have to do what I can do okay so we have over here first of all um, our display for our power when it's on if the battery is going dead it will light up there then Bluetooth activation okay so it is a smart enabled device uh, you have Okay, yeah, effects over there, which are not effects. I'll let you know what's going on over there. Your master volume, you can see the last time I was playing, I had the volume on 10, on clean. Okay, we have your modulation effects, flanger, chorus, tremolo, and a phase shifter. Over here we have delay and reverb, and off on both of them. I'll show you what that is. The master tone, the gain. This says effects, but there are no effects there. 
these are like amp models okay and since we're here I'll start with that um, there are no amp models of any sort no matter what it says down here and I let them know about it because what you actually have are get my thumb in here you have two clean amps and then all the rest are some kind of crunch or distortion thing I leave the gain you know, about where it's at okay and all of these other number three through eight are identical they just all have more gain from one to the next to the next to the next of course metal being the one with the most gain you can add more gain if you want to here um, will it get fizzy and mosquito bitey yes so I just take the tone and turn it way back to here when I'm using those um, crunch sounds or metal sounds. And when I'm on clean, I, I max it out. And that's what I do for my tones. So I'll let you hear them in a second. Okay, so that's what I get here. Again, effects. I told them to label it something else. So we'll see if they uh, listen to me on that. Again, master tone. Over here on the delay, you will get totally off down here uh, the more you turn it up the more delay you get more um, separated you know longer delay times once it gets there it switches to reverb okay instead of delay then you get longer reverb times you know so deeper reverb deeper reverb I love the reverb on the app okay um, everything on here sounds really good as far as the modulation effects again you have it can be off uh, everything works the same way court different depths of chorus up to here then it turns into a flanger up to there to the most extreme phase shifter up to there most extreme tremolo the slowest tremolo up to the highest trem okay so that's what that does and of course your master volume uh, when you have something plugged into your auxiliary input there's your volume for it okay so whether that's come through your headphones or coming through the main speaker itself there's your volume we have drums yes we have drums um, it is one kit okay so your snare is the same snare for all 36 kits as is your kick as is everything else they are simply different drum patterns okay so we have let me switch it on and power hey what do you know and i will see if it'll operate without it without me playing yep so we have that drum thing going i'll, I'll pick something up Okay, so that means drum set 03. Now, if we change this, of course we change the drum kit. Okay, or the drum beat, I should say. And a lot clearer when I'm in front of it. If we push down on it, that D will turn into an F, which actually stands for how fast it's going. So we're slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, speed away way up. If we want to change the volume of it, push down again, you'll get L for level or loudness. It'll go up to 24, but it's a good sounding thing. Um, to work with, hold it down. It'll shut off. Pardon my shakiness. Um, could I have this on a tripod? I could, but then I couldn't show you around like this. A uh, single input, and that is that. So, again, two clean uh, sounds and then a bunch of other sounds that have just simply more gain. They're definitely the same amp and the same tone settings and all that stuff. So, set my tone about like this or off 
for the distorted sounds and then wide open for the clean sounds. That's what I do. And I've had this thing for um, a month now and zero problems. Um, I wanted to give it a good run and a good test before I uh, record anything. So I'll go ahead and grab a guitar, plug into this thing, and give you some sounds again directly from the microphone of this Handycam. And you can uh, base your stuff on that and uh, put your trust in what I have uh, done for you in the past. Um, if you use my name when you get a hold of them, do you get anything off of it? I don't know. It goes for just under 200 bucks street. And uh, just for whatever reason, just go ahead and use my name anyway. It just does no more than help me out. Okay, so if it doesn't help you out, fine. But if it helps me out, groovy. I know I won't get anything for it, but I did get the amp for free, which is awesome of them. So I'll plug it in, give you some sounds, and uh, let you check out the site again, which is echomax.com. Okay, um, using a PRS 305 USA Made X. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention about this amp, one thing that's really cool, is it has a built-in noise gate that is on all the time. Okay, so it's 100% on 10 right now, on clean. Okay, so there's no noise. There's a little bit of noise from a windstorm outside, but that's the desert for you. Um, so I've got the guitar wide open, wide open, wide open. I'm on the neck pickup right now, and it's on clean, and it's on 10 and 10. Gain 10, volume 10. <laughs> clean sound. Go to the two position, the typical strap quacky thing. You know, it is clean, it's got great reverb, and so I'm sold there. Okay, beyond that I could give two hoops. <laughs> okay, um, Let's see, I'm going to go for, and that's with the tone wide open. I'm going to turn on, that's the reverb. It will go all the way up to. Okay, that's wide open on the reverb. Uh, delays. wide open on the delay. Um. <laughs> so if you want the short little delays, fine. Um, I'm going to turn my reverb back on because I like it. Not much so you can hear the others. Uh, first up we have chorus. two on the guitar. Um, next up is a flanger. Then a phase shifter. And again, all of them are adjustable. Um, next, tremolo. there. Um, let's 
see, what else can I go to? I can do <laughs> the drums. Slow those down. Turn them up. suck or anything like that. Um, none of that junk goes on when you turn it up to 10 or anything like that. It doesn't, when you hit it, it doesn't go down in volume or nothing. Um, like I said, I'm on 10. Okay, so I'm going to turn my tone down on the amp. I'm going to go to the first thing that has gain on it. And I'm going to the neck pickup. transfer here. I don't know. Um, I'm not putting a mic on it. I'm not giving it post-production and trying to make it sound great because I'm trying to sell you something. I don't get two cents from doing this. Um, I get a free amp. Um, and again, I would tell you if it sucked or not. And if I said it sucks out real loud, then they would probably pull the ad. I don't know. So if the ad is still up or the this video, then you know they were um, groovy enough to leave it up. But it doesn't suck. Um, again, I've been using it for a month, and I've been using it and enjoying it. I haven't had a single complaint with the amp, and I can't imagine being without it. I always plug my um, headphone jack out of my little laptop, plug it in here, and sit on the bed, and plug my guitar in, and just jam out. Everything comes out of the speaker, and I'm as happy as can be. I can go anywhere, campfires, uh, just playing outside when it's not 110 degrees. Um, and yeah, I'm going to do music instruction videos and stuff outside when it's cooler out. And I can just use this and be more than happy with it. So once again, Scott Grove, um, you guys stay groovy. And again, here for uh, Echo Max, the EM1. Again, don't forget the EM2 40 watt um, acoustic amplifier with coaxial speakers so you can get the full spectrum of the acoustic and then the 150 watt amp um, are all those uh, battery operated I don't know um, I've got my amp and it is and again 10 hours on the built-in battery do you have to change it no it's built-in <laughs> what is it I don't know I haven't taken the amp apart but um, I dig it I really do um, again, I wouldn't waste my time if I didn't enjoy the amp. So you guys stay groovy and uh, stick around for the video of the day. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.